Hello and welcome to a quick unboxing and comparison of the Matic F405 and 411 wing flight controller. Let's start with the F405. This is like the new older one. You already, already have heard about this one. And the cool thing about it is that it has so many ports and it does not only have seven servo outputs, it also does support up to six UARTs. That's like a lot. <laughs> and it's super cool because you can use it as a PDB, as a flight controller, as the OSD. So it's pretty much all you need. Okay, you will have to add the GPS, but it has a SD card slot for black box logging. So it's pretty, pretty neat. And uh, I used to have the Omnibus F4 Pro, but it's a pain to get the extra servo ports. If you have a like a mini teller with multiple aileron servos and stuff like that, you need more servo ports. So that's when this comes in handy. And let's unbox this one really quick. Okay, so this is being assembled. So you can already see this is a three piece board. This is going to be a two piece board, but basically, it's if you call this a three piece, then this is a one piece, a uh, two piece, sorry. So let's check the screws. Okay, so it's a lot smaller. I'm not sure you can see this. The focus. Not going to refocus because I played with the exposure. Um, yeah, you can see the mounting pattern pattern is different. This is thirty by thirty, and I guess this is could be twenty by twenty by kind of diameter. Oh, okay, so it's like twenty five by twenty five. That's what I think. So well, that's diagonal really. Prefer 35. Okay, and this is probably. Prefer, yeah, 30 by 30. As expected. So let's see the three stacks. It's 13.16 millimeter high. And then if we put this one, I think this should go on the bottom because it's in the same names on here. So let me quickly put one stand up in here. And probably best to put another one in there as well. So we can measure the actual height if I use both pieces. Actually, let's not do that and just put it on here like this and we should have it that way. So I will use the USB port because that's repeatable with the other one. So this is 12.92 millimeters and this is using the USB port 11.9. That's interesting. Why is it taller? Not sure. This has USB. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. Okay, so much for that. Yeah, let's, let's put some more screws on that. Oh, let's start with this. So 7.2 grams for that one. And let's put two more. And then we have two more screws. And then four and then this and that so that's 11.8 grams and this is all in all 26 pound pound so this also has a bigger um processor so it has more ram so i'm not sure i think inf doesn't need that much but autopilot could 
require you using this one, at least on Net4. So I'm not sure what else I should tell you. The width is interesting here because it's not the norm. So that's 56.43 and the width for this, yeah, 36.07 millimeters. So that's really cool. Love it. It's actually smaller than I thought it would be. So to be honest, I probably will go with this one because it looks like this has no flash memory for black box and no SD card slot. So without black box logging, I'm not sure that's that good. So yeah, we'll tell it to me. Just probably I'm going to store it on the um, yeah transmitter. Ultraronis. But yeah, sorry for <laughs> talking longer than I should, but hope this helps. Thanks for watching and see you next one.